Hi there, this is Fixed It. You've seen in the last two videos I unboxed this unit and tried to switch it on and off because I want to use it indoors. So I've come up with a solution. What I want to do is to try and stop this thing drawing a huge amount of current when it first switches on. And in order to do that, I need to put something in the power connection that absorbs that current so it'll allow the machine to switch on. What I've come up with is this. It's a bit large, but that's because I think I need to try and see what amount of power it's it's drawing or what it's doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the welder into this socket. I'm going to plug this into the power. I'm going to turn the lights down. Turn the that power plug on. I've got a little LED that's just come on. I'll turn the power on to the unit and now I'm just going to turn on the battery charger. So as you can see the battery charger is now working and the crucial bit is what happens when I turn on the welder. Okay so we're in household power supply into a standard 13 amp UK plug socket. Here we go. Watch for the lights going out. Voila! <laughs> <laughs> it turned on. The light bulb's a little bit warm. That's it. It's powered on. It's in a house. So I'll just move this slightly out of the way so you can still see what's happening. And now if I take this battery and I push that up there. It's actually made a little weld on the bottom. So let's turn the current up. But as you do it, it turns the light bulb on. And I've got little marks on the bottom. But currently, I think what's happening is the light bulb is absorbing too much of the current. First part of the experiment, it's turned on okay. And I'm currently using a 100 watt light bulb in there, so that's drawing quite a lot of current. But as you can see, it does a really spectacular switch on. But it's not currently welding. So I think I'm part way there. Hope you like the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.